Welcome, welcome, welcome. We have a season four update. With it, we get a brand new legend, Revenant. We get a brand new weapon, the Sentinel. We're going to start by checking this stuff out in the firing range, bring it down. Just because we might not get a chance to pick him right off the bat. Uh, we might not get the weapon right off the bat. And I want to showcase the abilities of these new things before we jump into a game. You. So, Revenant's abilities. His uh, passive is he crouch walks faster. You can see. Quite a bit faster. Now, the thing when you're crouch walking is you are silent to enemies. You're not silent to your teammates, but you're silent to enemies. Pick this up. Thank you. Okay. This Q, he um, pulls back his... Ow, that looks like it hurts. His pinky and his index finger and launches his grenade. And if anybody walks in here, if any enemies walk in here, they cannot use their abilities for 10 seconds. So that's kind of neat. Not going to lie. Uh, they changed sniper weapons in this game. They moved the scout over to... Over here. It's a... Uh, I don't know if it's an AR or a SMG. Rifle. AR. And now for snipers, we have the new Sentinel. We'll check out now. We have new sniper ammo, this purple ammo. Scope on this thing. So the snipers now are the Sentinel, the charge rifle, the longbow, and the triple take. See how much damage this does here. 65 body. And 30 head. Let's check out the fire rate. Pretty slow. I'm not trying to shoot anything, just see how fast it shoots. It's pretty slow, actually. Let's compare that to the longbow. Quite a bit slower. Let's compare that to the Kraber. Maybe a little faster. So the one cool thing about the Sentinel, although I'm not sure how much this is actually going to be used, because the cost seems quite high, is if you have a battery, you can charge it. You can use it to charge up the Sentinel. You get some extra shield damage. Oh, we got to kill them. Kill these guys. So charged up, it does a hundred. It does uh, full shield damage. Seems to last not too long. Not too long. Okay. Looks like somebody else disabled my abilities. So the next thing we're going to try out is the, um, is this ultimate. Let's drop the totem here. Don't be afraid of the shadows. So what this does is if you use it, looks like you have this zone. And if you die within this zone, you get respawned. And if you go outside the zone, uh, let's see what happens. Okay, it looks like it just cancels itself. Can't use it anymore. Does it kill the totem? Looks like it might kill the totem. The hell? That's spooky. That is terrifying. Okay, so we got to use it. Enter death protection. And now if we die, we should be spawned back by the totem. A 
So we only get health damage when we're in death protection. When we die, we spawn back to the totem. We have this little marker that we've already used it. What else? Oh, his uh, his climbing is vastly superior. Let's see how high he can climb here. Let's see how high he can climb. Okay, so quite a bit higher, but not unlimited like it was in the Halloween event. Get up here. Yes, okay. Almost to that notch. So that's Revenant in a nutshell. He's got increased crouch walk speed. Pretty quick. I think it's about the same as regular walking speed for other legends. He's got his pinky index pain bomb of doom. Shut you up real good. She can throw pretty far. And he's got his uh, to kill disconnected player. And he's got his totem that when you use it to enter death protection, you can only get health damage when you die. You respawn back at the totem. If you go outside, it cancels the totem, looks like. Uh, we're going to see how useful that is. I'm not sure. Could be used as like a scouting tool. Let's jump into a game. Okay, so we checked out Revenant and his uh, his abilities, his passive, his tactical, his ultimate. We checked out the new sniper weapon, the Sentinel, and some of the changes to the snipers. Remains to be seen uh, how those effects are going to affect the main game. We're going to jump into a game now. See if we can get Revenant as our pick. See if we can check out some of the new zones in the map. Be mindful of the circle when activating that. What's is that the death totem circle or the circle circle? Not sure. All right, sashimi, pick path. Pick path. Pick him. Let's have fun, friend. Thank you, sashimi. So these are some of the new zones. We have a harvester here, which takes up fuel depot. Unfortunate. And we have capital city now is split by this lava field. When you jump into this lava, you kind of float up, I guess. Sort of like a weird slow redeploy. Where are we going here? Oh, look at that. It's kind of cool. Let's this way. Let's see if we can get a new gun here. Okay. Nope. All right, we got the new sniper. Round one. Okay. R99 also got a bit of a nerf. Damage was slightly reduced. Got to keep an eye out for that new sniper ammo. I gotta remember now, I'm not using um, energy ammo for certain guns. L-Star has um, been removed as a crate weapon and replaced with a Devo, which I think actually makes a lot of sense. We can use our new uh, Pinky Index Bomb of Doom. Okay, kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Gotta hit those. Boom. And the fire rate on this is so slow, I don't know if it makes sense to use it over the uh, old longbow. So I don't know how I feel about the new sniper. It's uh, the rate of fire is so slow and the damage is a little bit better than the longbow. So I don't know how much sense it's going to make to use it. Rev so far off the rip seems 
at least a little more useful than Crypto when he came out. He's definitely going to be more fun to play, I think. He can be used aggressively. He can climb. Uh, his abilities help out the squad. I guess the totem can it can be used as sort of a, a close range scouting tool. Let's go to the new spot. The Harvester. This is one of the new zones. We didn't get Rev, so we're going to check out the new zone on this drop. Let's have some fun! Season 4! Check out this little dildo tunnel here. Oh, this is bad. Are there no guns in here? What is that door for? Oh, so the Havoc's gotten some changes. I'm get around to my teammates. So the Havoc, it no longer has a turbocharger. Only select fire. Which, uh, kind of sucks. It's a lot of doors. A lot of ways to get in to this building here. Can't see him. Dead. I feel uh, a little lost here. Not gonna lie. I do want to give the sentinel. Yep. I want to give the sentinel another go. Okay. So this area, you've got this upper. I guess I'm in the center now. Then you have these side zones. Doesn't look like a lot of a lot of loot spots. Of course, you have the fireworks and the lava sounds that sound exactly like footsteps. Can you jump in here? No, it's glass. I wonder if there's a way to get in that center spot. This is the new harvester. Man, that sounds like footsteps. Do you die if you go in here? Probably. I'm not going to try it. I'm not sure how great it's going to be to drop here. I'm being honest. There's no loot in here. And there's these weird... Like, what is the door for? It's the new lava pit. Let's try jumping in. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna tickle. So you take some damage. You can use it to, uh, oof, take a bit of damage, huh? Let's try out the uh, new R99. Huh? Well, that's one thing I want to try, actually. The new, uh, the new wingman. So they've nerfed the wingman a bit. It's got, um... Hold on. Dead! Enemy down. How, how are they not dead? Recharging my shields. Can you give us a totem here, buddy? This new spot's, uh, it's kind of fun. There's a lot of little cover. I don't know if they changed too much here. Feels like they did. That was wild. I feel, you know, even though the whole map hasn't changed, I feel a little lost. These little changes can go a long way. really go a long way here. The light has really changed a lot too, huh? Man, the light is really different. It's like a little darker? More like dawn or dusk. It's sunset time. You know, whereas before it was maybe high noon. 10, 2 p.m. 10 a.m., 2 a.m., 2, 2, 2 p.m. Cap's got a lot of changes. 
It would be really fun to play as Revenant here in Cap and see where he can climb. There they are. Go get him! Can, can you not climb this rock? Can you not climb these rocks? What? So it's been brought to my attention. I should be using the new weapons as much as possible. That's what I'm going to do this game. Stay on lifeline. Stay on lifeline. Guan, try to stop me. I got my totem ready here. Get out! Oh. Why am I always picking last? Damn it. These tunnels kind of suck. So uh, I'm going to try hitting up underneath here. I'm not scared. Neither is Calamity. Okay, there's no fucking bins. Give me a weapon! Loot still kind of sucks. How do I get up there? How do I get up? Is ammo like super rare now? Contact with hostile. game ggs why am i always picking last come on don't pick him don't pick him don't you dare he's gonna pick him don't you dare our diamond dive trail looks like lame christmas Sounds like the new sniper. Got him! Woo! Where are you nading? Who are you nading? They're all dead. 
I got you, friend. Here I go. Oh, he's only stacking 20. Holy sh... All right, I can use my totem now. Oh, he can bunny hop like a maniac. Use it. Don't be afraid of the shadows. Holy shit! Okay. Oh, uh, we died quick. Well, that's the totem in a nutshell. All right, that's going to do it for me right now. I will be streaming again later today. You can check out my schedule in the Streamlabs extension on twitch.tv slash I am Riles. Let me know what you think. What are your thoughts on Revenant? What are your thoughts on the new sniper rifle? What are your thoughts on the changes to the sniper rifles? Come on in. Let's have a chat. See you next time.